In this problem, we're asked to add, starting by identifying a common denominator, or CD. We need to write our answers as both improper fractions and mixed numbers, if possible. So when we look at the first fraction, 1 half, plus the second fraction, 2 thirds, the denominators are not the same, so we cannot combine them as they are. If we find a number that both 2 and 3 will divide into, then we found a common denominator. So 2 and 3 will certainly divide into 2 times 3, or 6. Because there is no smaller number that both 2 and 3 will divide into, 6 is also the lowest common denominator. So let's see how to write equivalent fractions for the 2 that we started with using the common denominator. So if I look at 2, I need to multiply that times 3 to give me 6. If I look at the 3, I need to multiply that times 2. So I need to be sure that I have the common factor in the numerator and denominator that I multiplied by. So I'm going to place the 3 above the 3, the 2 above the 2. I'm left with the 1 that was the part of 1 half and the 2 that was the part of 2 thirds. Now if I multiply, I get 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 2 is 6. Now, because the denominators are the same, I can add 3 copies of 1 sixth plus 4 copies of 1 sixth is 7 copies of 1 sixth, or 7 sixths. If I want to write this as an improper fraction, that's 7 sixths. As a mixed number, it's 1 and 1 sixth. Now let's look at part B. I have denominators 8 and 6. So a common denominator would certainly be 8 times 6, which is 48. However, if I look at 48, let me divide 48 by 2. Because 24 is divisible by both 8 and 6. So as it turns out, 24 is actually the lowest common denominator, and it's always better to use that if you can. So what we want to do is to build up each of our fractions into equivalent fractions that have denominators of 24. So my first denominator is 8. I need to multiply that times 3. My second denominator is 6. I need to multiply that times 4. In the top, I have the 3 that I started with times the 3 from building my equivalent fraction. In the second one, I have 5 times the 4 from building my equivalent fraction. I'm running out of room here, so I'm just going to put my equals here. If I multiply the first fraction, I get 9 over 24, multiply the top and the bottom, plus 20 over 24 for the second one. 5 times 4, 20. 6 times 4 is 24. I now have a common denominator. I can add the 9 plus the 20 to get 29 over 24. That's my improper fraction. My mixed number, 24 into 29 goes one time, leaving a remainder of 5 over the denominator of 24.